Yeah. Hey everybody, Palm Springs Cindy here. Well, I'm sitting, I was, I was busy all day today running errands and so I just got back and um, Eric came over and he brought lobster that he got at Stater Brothers. Well, I'd already eaten lunch, so I'm not, and plus I don't eat bottom, I don't eat fish. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't eat crustaceans. I don't eat giant cockroaches from the sea. But Eric does. And so he's cooking it in the, um, in the hot air fryer. I'm sitting here doing my nails. We're just sort of chit-chatting. So we thought we'd invite you to chit-chat and enjoy getting ready for dinner with us. We're rocking and rolling. A couple more minutes on the lobster. It wasn't quite ready yet, so I had to put it back in. Tell them it's the biggest tail you've ever been seen. <laughs> anyway, they had a, they had, uh, this tail is 20 ounces, 16 to 20 ounces. They had them, my first time I've seen them up there. They only had one left. And uh, I had to get it. I'll pull it out already pulled it off the shell. I cooked it outside the shell on top of it and uh, put a little obeys on it, some clarified butter. And it's about 20 minutes in the uh, air fryer. I had to guess because there was no recipe for this big of lobster. So after I got it out in 15 minutes, I opened it up a little bit. It was quite, not quite done yet. So. It should be done in about another one minute. <coughs> I add four little frozen corn on the cobs in there for what is that the microwave. What? I have a baked potato. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zapped. Okay. Let's check it. See how it looks like now. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but there it is. That's about 14 ounces with a little old base and then some clarified butter on it. Anyway, it looks good. Hope it tastes as looks is. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. Okay. Because, <laughs> because I'm not going to eat, um, Eric's going to sit at the counter here and eat while I finish my nails. And it does look good. But, um, and here's your drink. You want to taste it? No, no, I do not want to taste it. <laughs> he just can't it's believe it. He can't believe it. It's of the gods. It's a, oh, it's a what of the gods? Nectar of the gods. Nectar of the gods. Word. Okay. We want, we want you to take a bite and on a scale of one, of one to ten. So good. Oh my gosh, delish. Eric is a connoisseur, in case you guys haven't figured it out. Look at him. Mm, delicious. So good. It's got fresh lemons. Now, mm. some of you guys have said to me, well, why did you ever, do you ever cook for Eric? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> Because, to be honest, you guys, why in the world, he cooks 10 times better than I cook. And to be honest with you, he almost gets offended if I say, you do, he just said I do. He almost gets offended if I say I'm going to cook tonight. And, um, you know, I think maybe I've cooked twice. Once it was a salad and once was a, I have no idea. Soup. Oh. Some kind of soup. In fact, we got all the ingredients for soup. I know. In fact, I want to, I've got to make it. 
I just used this to take the polish off my nails. It was so easy. I mean, really easy. Um, I'm gonna put this over there and do my nails by you so we can have us both on camera. Mm. <laughs> I wanted to make a comment from the last time I was on. Um, Cindy treated me to a a day spa over in Desert Hot Springs. I didn't get to comment on it. It was one of the nicest uh, birthday presents I ever got in my life. It was after a wonderful day. I got a massage and a facial, and I got to go out into a mineral pool, and we swam a little bit, and just had some lunch, and it was just a, a great afternoon, and um, I had a great time there. And. Uh, I want to thank her publicly <laughs> for doing that for me. <laughs> it was a, you. it was very unexpected and a very nice gesture on her part. Wasn't that sweet? Wasn't yes. isn't that special? Well, it's hard, you know, when it's someone's birthday and they're seventy-five. It's what do you buy a man? I don't know. You know, I thought about, oh, well, I didn't think about anything. Because I, th I thought, well, I'll take him out to dinner. Well, that's, you know, I mean, that would have been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Dinner, card, um, take him, uh, well, anyway, I, so I've been, wa I've been wanting to go to this, just these day spas, because we have so many of them in Desert Hot Springs. And, and like I said, like you can't, you can't even, you couldn't even find them because they're like behind old doors and clumps of trees. I think the property was sitting on a mineral spring. Yeah. Because the pool was all mineral water. And then it was heated to, a, well, it, was, it wasn't even heated. It came right out of the ground. It was like 92 or 93 degrees. Yeah. And the spa was heated, I think. That was up to like 105. Yeah, that ginormous jacuzzi spa. Yeah. You know, that's the way I made. But they did have, that one was like a natural spring. Yeah, it was a rock formation yeah. on the side. I'm going to go into that, but well, that's what it looked like. Yeah, and it did not smell like no. sulfur. Because a lot of these natural springs, mineral springs, smell like sulfur. But they, they explain, how did they explain that? Yeah, it's, a, it's a different, it's not sulfur springs or very low sulfur content. That's what's made some so much more enjoyable because mm -hmm. you don't have that smell when you get out of it. Yeah. And uh, it was great. It, in fact, my my back came right out of it. I mean, it was like a massage, and then even though I got done with the massage in the pool, I could barely walk. But I You're the like next a, day I was yeah I was fine since then. You're great. like a limp noodle when you get out of those, mm -hmm. that hot water. But, yeah. you know, it was my favorite. Well, I loved it all. It, you know, like I said, it wasn't real luxurious. But no. it did the trick. And that's what I was concerned. You know, they, you know, they did my whole uh, myofossil, whatever, treatment here. And it was just heavenly. And then, you know, like Eric said, he his back was better and then I think just being in that water that pool water is just no. calming and and I thought they said something about the the mineral springs didn't smell like sulfur because they were so full much more like minerals than sulfur I thought oh yeah that. well yeah it was a different composition to the water um I went to another springs there's another one's about a probably about 90 or 100 miles from here. It's called Warner Springs. Oh yeah. And Warner Springs is um, highly, it's normal sulfur uh, pools. 
and I've been there before. And they have uh, hotel rooms there with no amenities. I mean, no phones, no TVs. Is that okay with you? Yeah, you just entertain <laughs> yourself. Well, I like it. You know, actually they had um, on the big picnic table in the shade, they had like decks of cards to play with and a checkerboard or game puzzles and stuff. Chess. So, chess, yeah. So you could... You know, you could sit if you wanted to get out of the water for a while, you know, and have a have a lunch or something, or just sit in the shade. You could do, you know, you have those kind of things to play around with. It is nice to try to get away from your screens for a while. You know, I understand that we need them like for emergencies, parents with little kids, or you know, parents with teenagers. But uh, you know, it's okay not to have them for a couple hours. Yeah, there's no kids here. This no, place. no, oh no, no, no. Adults only. Yeah. And I said, um, I didn't see it, but, and it was not advertised, but I think some of those out there, some of those spas are like, you can be naked and stuff. Well, I'm sure. You know, adults only. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Like I said, I didn't, that was not part of the, the, the um, <laughs> content that I read, but I have heard out there that there are like naked, I'll call them naked spas. Nudist. Yeah, like a nudist colony. <laughs> nudist spas. Nudist spas. Yeah. <laughs> they up and coming. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess, you know, if you're, if, if you're all right with it and everybody else is all right with it, um, you know, I bet it feels real freeing and, and all oh, of that. Real. All natural, yeah, all natural. You guys can hear it in my voice. I'm still like yucky, but I'm feeling better. I went today, I, I had to go to the post office and then I had to get a, um, once again, I'm working on my passport. So I made an appointment to get my passport. And then I went to, uh, oh babe, you haven't seen. And neither have my, vis my viewers. Did you see anything different about me? Look at my hair. Oh, you got another couple of holes. <laughs> I got, I have this, <laughs> I had this diamond from a, a bracelet. And so I went today, I was uh, in this industrial area looking for this upholstery shop. Well, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Drove around, drove around, drove around. Well, anyway, I found this other upholstery shop, really nice gal, totally fell in love with her. And so then as I was leaving, <laughs> I took pictures of it, I'm gonna show you guys. There was a head shop that does body piercings and tattoo and barber shop. So I thought, oh, body piercing. So, and I had my my diamond with me because I, I've got a little sack of stones that I wanna know if they're real or not real. And so a couple pieces to get fixed. So when I parked, I went in there, totally dark in there. <laughs> music blaring but it was kind of cool music i've never heard before it wasn't rap it was some some other kind of music and so i walked in there was there was uh two men and they were one guy was tattooing another guy but and then the, the other guy saw me walk in and he came out of the little barber shop area and so he he was like yeah what can I help you? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want to get a body piercing. And so he was like, oh, okay, fill this out. So, you know, you have to, do you have hepatitis? Do you have this or that? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I filled all that out. They have to take a copy of your driver's license. So then the tattoo body piercing man said, I'll, I'll be right with you. So I was like, okay, Let's have a seat. So I sat down, looked around, videotaped it. So I wanted, so I could show you guys. And then um, 
I showed him. Then he came up and goes, what do you want? So I showed him and told him, you know, I said, this, this diamond, these four, these diamonds fell off of a bracelet. I don't know what to do with them, but they're lovely. I was thinking I could make a, an earring out of them. You know, like the kind that just always stays in my ear. So he goes, yeah. And then he took me over to this giant picture of an ear. And he said, I'm thinking I might, you know, do it like this, because then you've got more space there. And I was like, you know, whatever, fine with me. So then um, he sat he sat me down and, and then uh, I said, now tell me before you pierce me. And he said, I will. So he drew, he inked me, you know, and he goes, right here, what do you think? No, that's fine. So then he, he he put his rubber gloves on and then he, he did it. I didn't hardly hurt at all. You know, women, we go through so much more pain than men that these punk rockers do when they get their, I shouldn't say punk rockers, but these people do when they get tatted and all that, you know, between Botox and lip injections and fillers. Oh my word, it hurts so much more. So, um, so anyway, then he, he did it and I actually forgot I had it done. Hmm. That's how pain-free it was, huh? That's how pain-free it was and it is. <laughs> So you didn't finish, honey. Yeah, it's done. Oh. Potatoes. Done. I don't, I eat low carb. Yeah. That was enough lobster to last. Oh, is there a leftover? Fish is not good the no. next day. No, leftovers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so fish, you know, the Bible says if you're going to eat fish, eat fish with fish, with fins and scales. Don't eat. I have those too. I know you do. Eric will eat anything and enjoy it. He, I enjoy good food. I mean, fish is, I mean, I have halibut and uh, Chilean sea bass, scallops. What no, but you eat have? weird stuff like you would eat uh, brains and stuff like that. Well, no, well, it's eat, not on my daily diet. Well, I know, but, but if we go out, I mean, you're more, you're more of a daring eater. I mean, give me a hot dog and hamburger, spaghetti and meatloaf. I'm meat and fine. potatoes, I call them. Meat and potatoes? Yeah. You're a meat and potato woman. You like I your meat? Really like meat. <laughs> Vegetables and. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge meat eater. Although, when day. When, when you have it, a steak, you'll eat good. When steak. Eric fixed that steak, oh my gosh. You guys, it was so good. And ribs. You like ribs. Oh my gosh. I will and then when I think about what ribs really are, it like uh but I can't help it, they're so good. I, I just have to eat them. Okay, tell oh. the folks out there in YouTube land when you're gonna what are your thoughts about starting your channel? And, and maybe Well, I had to get some equipment. That was another thing I had to okay. get. I had I got this uh, new piece that I had to order. And so I got that done. I had to get a light, kind of get that. I got an SLR camera. I got What's that. What's that? Um, a digital um, um, uh, single lens reflect. I got that, but I'm not, decided not to use it. I'll just use it for regular things like taking pictures and some other home videos, but not for this. Anyway, I have this special um, I found on TikTok. Um, to hold the uh, phone and what it does it has an AI tracker on it so when you put it on there it will automatically follow you that's what we need and so you don't have to keep Sit changing like it and do this yeah it'll it'll follow you wherever you go it follows and then you can turn it off by putting your two fingers up like that or you can just do this and turn it back on and um, so anyway, I got that. I'm starting to use that. I have Would to get familiar with the with equipment it? before I do yeah. any uh, filming with it. So um, my uh, where I live now, um, probably about 70, 75 percent of the people now have left. The season's over here. We just finished up stagecoach. Um, that's Isn't the last. Is it one more weekend? No, it's only one. No, uh, Coachella's two. And then Livewire comes. Yeah, That's the hard we, rock. Yeah, the hard rock comes back in, and then, and then we're finished until uh, you know the indoor uh, concert season. Yeah, which is over at uh, where did we go to see that? The um, anyway, 
anyway, the indoor concert season is coming, and then they have them at the uh, casinos too. We got like six or seven casinos out here. So that's another thing we go to during the summer. And then we're going to take off. I'm going up to uh, Paso Robles. Uh, I'm going to take Cindy up there uh, probably uh, 10 days or so, maybe two weeks at the most. I'm going to start making some plans doing that. We're going to go up to the wine country. And then I'm going to take them over to Morro Bay on the coast. And then up to San Simeon, Seahurst Castle. She's never been up there. I'm taking her someplace where she's never been, which is uh, unusual. She's been, <laughs> she's been to a lot of places. The last time we took a road trip over to Sedona and Santa Fe, she'd already, you know, been there. But those, uh, Sedona is one of my favorite places to go. It's absolutely gorgeous there. Uh, for those who haven't uh, experienced it, it's just a gorgeous place to be. Um, so anyway, that's uh, about my story right now. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to try to uh, do a fun, fun things this summer, get out of this uh, heat, and uh, go see my family too. And yeah. Cindy just got seeing her family. Yeah. And then we're going to split and do something nice for a change. We always do nice stuff. <laughs> well, it gets, it gets a little, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. heated here. We're not like on the coast, True. you know, where I what used to live. You didn't have to worry about going out for the summer. It was 80 degrees in the summer and, you know, a little bit more rain over there. But here we got three months of a lot of hot air. And I mean hot air. So we don't have the, the uh, distinction of having... A pool in the backyard, I so know. that's what I we are looking at. I still might want to get one of those above ground pools. I saw one where they just uh, fold out. Oh. They're not blown up. They're, really? Yeah, they're fold out. I saw them and I was going to send it to you. Okay. But you can't open up a TikTok on your phone, so okay. I have to send it to your email. But anyway, it's something new. and. Uh, had one actually in the hallway last year. Two. Two. That uh, I sent back. Sent back, and that's one of the issues. Well, because then I, they come, then I like leave. Like last year, my I got to go to my brother's for almost a month. So I thought, who's going to take care of the pool? It's no. got to be like um, chlorine. Chlorine. Well, you put a you put one of those tablets in the, and let it float on the top surface. It's not an issue. Not too bad. Plus you get an automatic pool cleaner. No. Battery operated. Another nice thing I don't to know get. That, well, that's the, that's my dilemma because I would, I would in, in a minute get a, a above ground pool, but it's like, am I going to be here? I don't know. Well, you're going to be here. Well, yeah, I know. You know, it's, it's you know I mean, in, I'll be in and out. Yeah. But I love to go in the water in the morning mm -hmm. and at night. Oh, yeah, at night. It's... So, it's so nice. <sighs> cool your body down before you get into bed. Because it's like 120. Well, that's rare, hopefully. It's not too many 120s. Well, that doesn't hit very often. But, you know, 110 and above is pretty common. Uh, yeah. You know, 110, 115 here, so... Yeah. It's nothing but cold. But at night, you get down on it. As long as the sun is not beating on your head, uh, uh, everything is, is nice. And the water's, uh, depending how deep it is. Where I have, we have like eight pools, but they close six of them down during the summer. We have two main pools. And that um, night swimming is beautiful. They're like yeah, 80, it's 82 so nice. degrees. And, it's, it's really nice to have that pool at night. You have to have one. You have to either have access to a pool or have one in your backyard out here. Right. That's a mandatory, you know, it has to be. Otherwise, you're, you're toast, literally frying out here. Right. So, and uh, there are advantages to the summer here, and that's that you get discounts and everything. The restaurants give out discounts. You get... You know, it's less crowded. It's, yeah. you know. Yeah, if you're local during the summer, you get discounts. Yeah. All kinds of 
you know, the lines are gone, the traffic is gone. Hotel rooms go down to yeah. a third of what they are. Golf goes down to a third. You know, you can play around. You have to get it early in the morning, but um, you can get packages. You can play three championship golf courses out here for like 75 bucks during the summer. But uh, yeah, you got to tee off before eight o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, no. Anyway, that's about I can it. do my <coughs> left wow. hand. I cannot do my right hand. That's because you're right-handed. It just... You can't do your left hand? Oh, no, I can do my... Yeah, that way yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Way. Yeah, because of your, your coordination with your left hand. Oh, and Eric brought me a printer because my printer I has, has never worked. I've hired two or three people to come over and hook up my printer. I've called the printer company. Walk me through it. So... Eric said, oh, I have, I'm going to bring a printer over. So it's still sitting in the den. So we're going to go do that. Well, I got it hooked up. I hooked it all up. And I, listen, well, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> the printer that I got, I actually bought it for myself. Because my printer supposedly conked out. It never works with my computer. It works with my phone. So I had to print out my tax, re you know, my 1099s. And so I'm up there and it's not working, it's not working, working. So I left it uh, turned on for like a couple hours. So I oh, let me go back and I go, he uh, goes, beep, runs them off, prints them all up. It works fine. So I had already ordered this printer, it came in. So I said to Cindy, I said, here, so your printer doesn't work, I'll give you this printer. And it's the exact same printer it's she already same has. HP, HP same model number. Everything is the same. So let's hope that it works. Yeah. And, you know, printers are extremely hard to get to operate. But I don't want, I don't want to do the Wi-Fi. I think that's what's messing it up. Well, I Just, don't. I have a direct, a direct cable into it. Yeah. I plugged it in direct cable. That's what you had in there. You didn't have it on Wi-Fi. Okay. But if it doesn't work with the cable, then we're going to do Wi-Fi. That's the only thing we'll, we'll have to do it. Yeah. Or we'll call HP. No, we can, we can work it out. Okay. Yeah. You're illiterate. We can work it out. You're illiterate. We can work it <laughs> I am printer illiterate. I am. So there you go. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully we're going to have some fun this year. Yeah. Coming summer. And enjoy... Uh, life at its fullest so yes. anyway that's uh god what else anything that's it um that's all that's all she wrote um it's just sort of a you're invited to watch eric eat lobster video <laughs> well i just dated it i didn't want to put it on camera but it was it let me say something um main lobster is was better than this this is a warm water lobster probably from australia um your cold water lobsters are better um, they just have a sweeter taste um, are they meatier or anything no not meatier it's just but they're smaller you can't get a main lobster and the main lobsters is i think the biggest they can take is like a pound and a half oh. and so there's limitations they can't pull out uh, because one of these big lobsters, a main lobster that would be this big would be probably 60 or 70 years old. Oh. And it's a breeder. And they carry their eggs underneath, the females do, and they don't They don't uh, take females. They're not supposed to. Although I... How do they know? Not until they lift them up. Well, yes. And I can tell you one thing. That, uh, Walmart, I, I've, I've had some main lobsters at Walmart that were females, and they were actually eggs attached, oh. which is a complete no-no. You never take a female that have eggs. You don't, you're not supposed to take females anyway because of that fact. That is because sick. That was caviar. Yes, but it's, you know, it's not the kind you want to really go to because it's been frozen for six months. Ugh. Anyway, um, that's a little history on lobsters. Okay, babe, sign off for us. Okay, we are uh, done for this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and until we see you again. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably be adding some stuff to this part of the video, so stay tuned. And God bless.
Everybody knows.